This is just a guide for beginners on how you can transfer your drawing into your pottery pieces. Now I'm just giving you a few examples here. I am I like to freehand my own drawings right into the pottery as I think this is the quickest way to do it. But I know not everybody like to freehand. So I'm giving you an example here, even though I am freehanding right into this paper. But what you can do is get the paper, which is a newsprint paper I got from Michaels. And um, it's a soft, thin paper. So you can put that right over a picture on your iPad or your iPhone and um, change your setting, your display setting to the brightest that you can go. So it acts like a light box and you see that you'll be able to trace it with no problem. You can see the picture behind it. So I recommend that you can trace, but for your composition, you can change quite a bit, just like I'm doing it on my freehand drawing. And that way you're creating your own composition. So you can trace different flowers or plants or whatever you're doing, and you can add things like birds or butterflies. So just try to create your own composition. And then you, once you have your drawing created, you uh, just hold that against your pottery and you spray it so you wet it. And you can either use a wet sponge or a rib to press it onto the surface and that will transfer whatever you have, you know, on your, on your drawing will transfer to the surface. Uh, here the pottery got a little wet, so it's hard to see. So it creates a light sketch onto the surface. So then I go over again with the pencil and I'm using a soft lead pencil. That's what I suggest using because that transfer easier from the paper into the, the pottery. And this is also, uh, it's a uh, greenware haven't haven't been best fired yet another way to do it would be using the same newsprint paper and uh, trace it with a washable marker that is a bright color and you can lay the paper then over your pottery and wet it with a sponge and that would transfer as well now as you can see right here that bird it was done that way. The only problem with that is that it does smear. So then I would have to come over with a pencil again and trace it over the drawing with the pencil. And it's a little harder to see. So I'm gonna use this to use uh, my technique cuerda seca on this cup, which I will have another video coming up on how I paint the lines using the oil that I have on my other videos. But um, yeah, I recommend using the pencil. It's definitely what I think it, it works the best. So be on the lookout for the other, the other video that I will have coming up pretty soon. So right here, I'm just going over with the pencil where I had the drawing done either by the washable marker or when I transferred that they were pretty light so I'm just going over and making my drawings stand out a little bit more so I'm prepping for the line work that I would do with the oil and the brush work that I will be coming next I hope you enjoy and good luck and keep practicing freehand drawing. You just get better and better at it by doing it more and more to a point that you won't need to trace it anymore. I hope you enjoy it.